Alrighty, what is, uh, <laughs> whoa, what is going on, guys? Anyway, last time, we, uh, defeated the game corner, except for the final boss, which we haven't done yet, so, God damn it. But this time we're here in the, uh, what is this? The gym. And, uh, we're gonna fight all the trainers, and, uh, hopefully Erica at the end of this, and, uh, we'll save Giovanni for last time. I don't want to do two bosses in one thing. So, yeah. The Thunderbolt here, see what this does. Obviously, this thing's gonna have Blizzard and or Surf or Hydro Pump for one of those fucking gay moves. Let's see what it does. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gee, that's a lot of water. Oh, God. Oh, God. Alright, okay, it only did half. That's not too bad. Blastoise is a really badass looking sprite right there. So, that's pretty cool. And she's also got a gloom. So, good for her. See how much that does. Oh, Jesus! Okay, we're going to dairy. And, of course, I'm now paralyzed. Take that thing out there. Mm -hmm. It's also got a sand slash. And just hit that thing with a water. Fall. Whoa! Learn anything? No, of course not. So, these guys are all gonna have uh, some kind of gay guy on their team. Ah, oh, Jesus, here comes the rapping for days. I miss? Oh, he missed. There we go. I got a crit. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta go heal really quickly. Okay, so he had to come out anyway to get that girl out of the way. And they're gonna do the same thing again here. You have to reset the friggin' house every time, or not the house, but the place every time, so that you, because these chicks, they see you and then they walk into the way, and it's really annoying. Oh my god, somebody that actually does not have a fucking water Pokemon as their first Pokemon. Unfortunately, I don't have Ice Beam on this guy, which I should probably just teach him and stop trying to be cool. Because Rock Slide, oh my goodness. Hey, look at that, I woke up first turn, but he paralyzes me. Oh, Jesus, these critical razor leaves. And his next Pokemon is Kabutops. Uh, I dare I should be okay. Go for Dig there. There we go. I'm in shock. Alright, I'm just going to teach him Ice Beam, because you know what? There's no reason not to at this point. Uh, I would replace Double Kick with Earthquake if I, that's what happens, but... That's what I'm going to do right now. you got to be careful here not to delete Rock Slime. Just get rid of Horn Attack. And they're Ice Beam, so there you go. And then I'm also going to do some other things here. I'm going to Super Potion... Once and paralyze heal. That all in the video. All right. Okay. Cool. Anyway, then we gotta go back outside. And then we go back inside. And this guy is now out of the way. And is there anything up here? No. Okay. And we have this guy cut this. And all right. There you go. So he's uh, cleverly put some blockades in here so that we have to go fight all the trainers, which I was going to do anyway, so I don't even know why that's necessary, but whatever, it's cool. <sighs> so this thing's going to leave with another water Pokemon. But uh, we can T-bolt that in the face. Unfortunately, it is a special wall, so this thing will probably be able to live that. Oh, I probably should have switched, because it's going to have pretty high special. This could have been a mistake. <laughs> Whew, that was close. All right, let's go ahead and switch out at this point. Uh, I'm going to gold. It's not going to have T-Bolt, right? Okay, it has wrap. And she withdraws Tentacool. Just go for the Body Slam. And then she withdraws again, but I go for another Body Slam. And he's going to go into Tangela again. Go for another... Oh, my God. 
Obviously, she's getting a lot of wraps here, and she's not missing, so I'm going to not take this crap anymore. And then, of course, she goes for Sleep Powder. This... It's not waking me up. It's not even doing that. This is so fucking stupid. I don't even know what to say about this. Okay, finally I get to attack. This is new and exciting. And the Karate Chop Critical doesn't even do anything. I wonder how much Submission does. There's a little bit. And now I'm asleep. But now I'm awake again. And now she uses more Super Potions. And oh my god, I actually fucking killed it. That's amazing. That is, uh, that's really great. And I'm going to be right back because I got to go heal again. Normally I don't like to, you know, keep cutting these videos to where I go heal and shit. But like this, I have to go back and heal for these... These trainers are way too annoying and difficult, and, you know, I'm kind of equal level here, so this is, this is tough. Anyway, we've got a female cool trainer here. It's going to leave with Clefable. Level 44, holy shit. Oh, the double kick damage that does. Oh my god, look how little damage that does. Oh, what the fuck with this blizzard crap? This, oh my god. There goes all my health. Oh god, it's not stopping. Alright, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll switch into Dairy. And there's the Psychic, and that does like nothing. So much double edge does. I should do a good chunk. Okay, and she withdraws Clefable. That's great. Ah, Jesus. Okay, and here's Lapras. Uh, it's kind of psychic too. Fuck, man. I gotta go out in a pedo on this one. And it goes for body slam. That's great. Let's see how much psychic does. Decent chunk. Don't get paralyzed. Another psychic. And there's a T bolt. So it's a good thing I did not go into uh, gold. We've got butt right there. Alright, and Derry is up a level. And going back into Clefable now. It does have the blizzard, so I can't do what's his face. So I'm just going to go into Derry. Oh, it had like no health. I could have killed it. God darn it. Uh, will Ember kill it? I hope so. Thank goodness. That would have been pathetic. So Cool Trainer's defeated. There you go. No oh, beaten. Alright, so let's do some more healing. Gonna be a lot of that going around. Ah, it should be good. And yeah, we've got another chick here. Uh, he's Pokemon training. Okay, that's what my hobby is too. Well, not really. Uh, okay, anyway, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. She got one Pokemon. Oh shit, Venusaur! Oh, it's only level forty. All right, I thought it was gonna be like level like fifty or some shit. We can use our new ice beam here, and that uh that's gonna do about half. Oh my god. Holy fuck that did a lot of damage. What I'm not gonna be able to wake up either, which is so stupid and annoying. I'm gonna go into dairy here. I know Ember's not gonna kill it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, I can throw up a line in front of me, too. Oh my god. This is awful. Oh, I hit him. Kill it, kill it. No, it's still alive. Oh my god. This is terrible. I better put up a I better heal just just to be safe.
This is really stupid. Oh my goodness, this is so fucking dumb. I don't even know what to say about this right here. But there's literally like nothing I can do, and I'm just... Oh my god, this is why evasion is so broken in this game, because it you don't... Oh my god, finally! Jesus! Alright, Horny is level 40. Oh my god, this is just... This is way too much, man, way too much. Anyway, there's one more trainer, so I'm going to do that last trainer right now. And then we'll go heal, but I am going to throw a super potion on Derry. And then I'm going to switch Derry with Horny, because that guy's asleep. Okay, here we go. Let's fight this chick. Look at my grass Pokemon. They're so easy to raise. Ten bucks says her first Pokemon is not a grass Pokemon. Oh, it is a grass Pokemon. It's a psychic Pokemon. But it's a grass Pokemon, too. I'm out of attacks, too. Like, what the hell? Go for double edge, see how much that does. Oh, crap, this thing's probably gonna have explosion. Oh, for the love of God, with these fucking hypnosis. No, <sighs> oh, that's Mega Drain, good for it. Try attack. Let me throw some triangles, bitch! Yeah, we kill that thing, that's great. Omastar. Uh yeah, I'll go to this guy. Look at him, Disco Almost Star. Disco Almost Star. God damn it. Alright, good, we both missed. Take that. Holy shit, that's a lot of recoil. Seismic toss. I'll turn you into a ball. That thing is dead. He's already defeated Beauty. Beauty, no! Alright, is it just her? It's just Erica left. Alright, well, I'll be right back then and we'll fight Erica. Surprise butt sex. Okay, here we go. So this is versus Erica, fourth gym leader. I'm assuming she's going to be incredibly challenging. So, all our guys are 40, except for Pedo. He's like 42. That guy's ahead of the curve. But, uh, so guys that we're probably going to end up using is going to be... I don't know if I'm going to use Derry that much because he only has fucking Ember right now, so that's going to suck balls. Uh, we might use Horny, and then, but Pedo is going to be the main star of this battle, unfortunately. And uh, for now, I am going to, in fact, well, no, I can start with Derry. Why not? All right, let's do this. Here we go, Erica. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Okay. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokémon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Dude, what the fuck? Is she, like, high? See, that's what that's what I think it is. I think she's high on, like, the plant fumes or something. I don't know. Very well. But I shall not lose. Of course, Erica doesn't even give a fuck. She's got six Pokemon. And she's going to lead off with Parasect, level 49. Holy shit. That's high level. Parasect is, of course double weak to fire, so I'm hoping Ember will do a buttload. It does not kill, so I feel like I was going to get spored there, but I'm not actually, so that's cool. We can finish off Parasect. And just like that, her first Pokemon is down. She's going to go into Vileplume here. I uh, Normally I'd like to give everybody some chance to look at things, but I'm not going to mess around in a fucking gym battle. Vileplume looks fucking amazing. Great, uh... Great artwork there on Vileplume. Anyway, we are going to go straight into Pedo, and we are going to psychic this thing in the face. I think she has one Pokemon that's going to be very challenging at the end. And her special goes down. That's great. That means it's Razor Leaf not going to do as much. Of course, it will critical, because it has a 100% chance to critical. I'm not even going to go for another move, because I know I'll have enough psychics to take down things later. Plus, I have Max Elixirs if I need to use it. And she's going to go into Tangela now. And for Tangela, I'm going to go into Horny here. And I think we're just going to Ice Beam this thing multiple times. I should be quicker, even though I am way lower level, yeah. It's all them EVs, yo. Alright, okay, so we Ice Beam that thing, and we get a crit. Holy shit, that did a buttload. And he uh, misses the Sleep Powder, so that's going to be a dead Tangela. And just like that, we are three up, three down, and now she's got Victory Bell. 
Uh, I made a mistake when I was when I had Victory Bell. I evolved it, and that was really stupid of me because I straight up should not have evolved it. I should have waited until it le hit level 38, which is when it learns Razor Leaf. But uh, oh well, whatever. He died anyway. And Victory Bell goes down to a critical, and lol. Petto up another level. That is great. We don't learn anything. And Venusaur is next. Uh, I'll stay in. And I'm just going to Thunder Wave this thing. I know Psychic will do a lot, but... And I'm okay with the Sleep Powder. I'm just glad I got the, uh... Thunder Wave off, because hopefully he'll be paralyzed at some point here. And it is, of course, going for double team. And then it does score a critical there with the Razor Leaf, and that scares me. And unfortunately, I am asleep forever. He's finally fully paralyzed, and I finally wake up. Uh, but unfortunately, he's already gotten a buttload of double teams off, and I should not have done that. I should have just psychic him when I had the chance. It was a stupid play on my part, but that's okay. We can still recover from this. Unfortunately, I am going to miss my first Psychic here. I'm going to miss my next one, and he is putting me back to sleep. I really wish I would have bought some fucking... Okay, I'm going to go into Dairy here. And I am going to set up a Reflect. That way his Body Slam won't do anything to me, and I know uh, what's it called. It's going to already be low damage. So we'll go for some digs here. And we do hit a dig there, that's great. And we hit another one! That's great again! I will go for a super potion here. I was really hoping Petto would not be asleep for his last Pokemon. Or for her last Pokemon, because her last Pokemon is her best Pokemon, of course, and we'll uh, get into that as soon as we take down this Venusaur. But it stops fucking dodging my hits, and now I'm paralyzed, and that is a pain in the dick. Luckily she keeps uh, using things that don't do anything to me, so that's great. And I'm paralyzed again. Last paralyzed heal. Don't paralyze me. And he gets a critical there, so that's going to do massive damage. Because that's going to break through the reflect there, but that's okay, we still got it. And okay, here we go. Let's see if we can hit this. And of course not. And I'm paralyzed again. Okay, so I mean, I know this is boring as shit, but this is what I have to do, unfortunately. Gotta deal with this double team. And eventually we'll hit him. Eventually we will hit him. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, I gotta heal up again. I mean, this is really stupid, but this is kind of how this game goes if you use double team. You never hit. And we finally hit him! Right, as I say, of course, we never hit him. His last Pokemon, or her last Pokemon, is, of course, Executor, one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. And, uh, yeah, so here we go. Of course, also level 49. If I had to pick a move set for this executor, I would of course have Psychic, Mega Drain, Sleep Powder, and Reflect. So I'm assuming that that's probably what she has. And her first move is going to be Mega Drain. I'm still asleep, unfortunately. I'm still asleep, fortunately. Or unfortunately, I guess. That's what I meant to say. I don't even know if I said that. Anyway, and she's going to for Mega Drain a lot here, and I'm still asleep. I finally wake up! And I'm assuming I'm going right back to sleep. Yes, I am. Unfortunately, oh, but I wake up right away here, so this is great. This can get me a Thunder Wave. And that's going to end up being huge. So hopefully we will get a special drop here. We do get a critical. As you can see, it does absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, he goes for a Paralyze on me, which is fine.
and we do finally get a special drop there, and that is fucking sweet. Uh, I'm going to use a Hyper Potion here, and it looks like we're going to have this one in the bag. I'm surprised that she did not use Psychic more. Let's see how much try attack does. Let's throw some triangles. Alright, that does nothing. Finish it off with the last Psychic, maybe? Will this do it? It's down. There you go! Zori defeated Erica. No deaths. She also gives us TM21, and of course that is Mega Drain. And that's gonna... that's pretty sweet. I don't think anyone can learn Mega Drain, but... Spore can learn Mega Drain, but he's dead, so... There you go. With that, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, next time, we will take on Giovanni inside the game corner, and that's going to be a fun one. Probably harder than Erica, except Erica did have Executor, but there you go. Anyway, next time, that's what we're doing, so I'll see you guys then.